Well, the auto industry has been through a very difficult 2020, driven by financial changes and social distancing. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel for car buyers and sellers as we move into the end of the year. Joining us now live this morning is Moore's auto expert, Nick Miles. Nick, good morning to you. Good morning to you. I will also add that uh, Tony and I enjoy spending time at the auto shows together. <laughs> I know. I know you guys were able to do that, I think, sometime last year. That's always fun to see. So I get to talk to you this morning. So thanks for joining us. Thank you. Okay, first, how are local and national sales doing right now, Nick? And I mean, are we headed in the right direction? Well, most of the country is. We've seen uh, some parts of the country up as much as 13 or 14 percent above September 2019. Unfortunately, Portland is a little slow off the, slow off the starting blocks. It's uh, still down 5% from September 2019 as far as used cars are concerned uh, and new cars are concerned. And used cars, much worse. Uh, they're down about 13% from last year. Uh, the rest of the country is back to about 5% above what it was doing last year. But unfortunately, Portland not quite hmm. matching the rest of the country. Well, Nick, how have sales changed with the pandemic and with social distancing? I know it changed the in-person experience kind of in a lot of ways. I mean, by default, it has to, right? So do you foresee this as well continuing down the road? Yeah, I think so. In fact, there was a recent Harris poll that said 61% of people don't see the change going back to the way it was before the pandemic. So what people are currently doing is they are looking for cars online. They're getting pre-financing online. I constantly talk about using apps like uh, Capital One's Auto Navigator. I've, I've been working with them promoting that. So you can social distance when buying a car. You can actually find the inventory. There are millions of cars online that you can do that with. You can get pre-qualified for financing without um, doing a hard pull on your credit. Oh. You all the paperwork together and then you head to the dealer. Don't buy a car without test driving. That's a really bad idea. But you can actually make your contact with the dealer and contact with the person selling the car as minimal as possible and therefore protecting yourself from COVID-19. Good tips there. All right. Well, the world has shifted in many ways. So what are some consumer behavior trends that you're seeing in the car buying process? And you know, what do consumers want most, I guess, out of that process right now? But it comes back to that whole digital experience. People just want to be able to do things from the luxury of their own home. They want to be able to get everything sorted out before they had to deal. And I'm really promoting that as well. Uh, plus, instead of like, I, I don't remember, you know if you remember, but I used to head out with my family like on a Saturday morning and cruise the car lots. That's kind of an old behavior. Now you can just cruise what cars are available online and do that. Uh, people want to actually have more information at their fingertips. The internet is a great place for that. You can either read reviews, you can find out how you can do things. The other thing is uh, make sure, a lot of people are making sure that they get everything done before they head out. So the trend is to have your financing and even check your insurance rate changes, those type of things. Buying a new car isn't just about your monthly payment. It changes a lot of things. The cost of ownership includes, does it change your gas mileage? Does it change how much you pay in that insurance every month? You know, those, what is service cost? Is it included in the new car? So there's about five or six things you need to look at. It's an umbrella rather than just specifically buying a vehicle. And real quick, do you have any tips for, you know, first time home or first time car buyers rather, or, you know, people who really want to get a good deal right now and save money? Yeah. So. There's two big things here, and they're very different tips. One of them is, uh, look, the end of the year, we're about 6 million cars down in the United States from what we were in 2019. So at the end of the year, these car companies are going to reevaluate in, in November, December. They're going to look at how much they are down, what vehicles haven't sold, and then they're going to start throwing incentives at it. So you could get the best deal in history in November, December, because car companies are going to want to show a sales increase in those two months now with venturing out of the pandemic. The other thing that a lot of people don't know, and this comes directly from something I learned from uh, Capital One and their Auto Navigator, is you can actually increase the amount of money you get for a car you trade in by cleaning it, just buffing it, waxing wow. it, and vacuuming it. And the amount of money you get can go up to 10% more because you trade in a clean car. So be neat. <laughs> you could get more money for it. That is a really good tip there. All right, Nick, thank you. By the way, I love the sign you have behind you that says, we got this. You I do. Need one of those. Thank you. Thank good you. to see you always. Thank you. All right. Well, you've 